Robert Jackson appointed by President Truman to be the chief prosecutor at the Nuremberg Tribunal following World War II stated, let me make clear that while this law is first applied against German aggressors, the law includes, and if it is not to serve a useful purpose, it must condemn aggression by any other nations, including those which sit here in judgment now. Thus, we have a Nuremberg obligation to try to hold our government officials accountable. Also, there is a well-established law in our jurisprudence which places an affirmative duty on all of us to expose any treasonous or criminal act which comes to our attention. Failure to do so is defined as misprision. As good citizens, we are writing to you out of duty. Knowing that felonies have been committed, we are to inform a magistrate, silently to observe the commission of a felony, without using any endeavors to apprehend the offender, is a misprision. Bush and Richard B. Cheney for war crimes, for crimes against the citizens of the United States, for crimes against the citizen of Iraq, for the destruction of a country that did nothing, nothing to anyone. These people are criminals. They have shredded the Constitution. And to allow them to go free with no accountability is a stain on the United States of America. If we claim to be the defenders of freedom, and we claim to be a nation of laws, then the first thing that must happen is for George W. Bush and Richard B. Cheney to be brought before a court of justice to answer for their crimes. We, as citizen activists, demand that. We can demand no less. We can do no less. Can you hear me? I just wanted to let everyone know we are gathered here because we're calling for the indictment of George W. Bush and Richard Cheney. We have tried to uh, dialogue with the Department of Justice. There has been no response to our letter and no response to any of the phone calls we have made. So we are now going over, hopefully to talk to some representatives of the Department of Justice to seek a meeting. And in this meeting, we want the Department of Justice officials to affirm that they will proceed with the indictment of Bush and Cheney. There's a very, very long list of possible war crimes. Some are detailed in our letter, which Maria Hallwine is holding here in, in large copy. Everyone that's involved in uh, attempting to dialogue with the Department of Justice has signed this letter. So we are now ready to proceed to the Department of Justice and we invite all of you to join us. Thank you. If I understand what you just said, that you're willing to take the letter to the Attorney General's office? That's right. I can do that. We appreciate that very much. But it, it, again, if I understand your position, you're in public relations. If you're the not public affairs, huh? public affairs, right. So you have nothing to do with uh, if, if someone is to bring an indictment. What is the possibility of talking with someone that has that capacity in the Department of Justice? Could we have someone sort of above you a little bit? Not, not to, not to, uh, <laughs> I understand. Not I'm, disrespecting you in the slightest. I am the representative from the department. I can deliver this to him. Um, that's what I can offer you right now. Yes, I've heard you say that, but I'm, I'm imploring you. Is it possible you could go inside with the letter and possibly bring out someone of authority that we could talk to? I wouldn't be able to do that. You wouldn't be able to. There's no one else you could approach that might be able to have a dialogue with us. The, the only thing I can do is deliver the letter. To this I think it's pretty clear. The, the final question I would have for you, were you aware that we were coming today? To the Department of Justice that we had scheduled for this appointment. Were you aware of this? I wasn't aware of it. No, you were just called, you were just called that something was happening outside? That's right. I can deliver the letter for you.
I, I see no problem with uh, Mr. Ames delivering the letter, though it's not what we came here for. But uh, we want to continue the process. I understand, and I'll take this to the Attorney General's office. And, and, and tell me then, what is the process after that? After the Attorney General's office receives the letter, what happens? We, we have sent the letter, we have followed up with phone calls, and nothing has happened. I understand. The only thing I can do is accept the letter and deliver it to his office. Right, and so you would even be able to say to us, well, the next step in the process is that we will get a phone call. Or we can get I would, no, I'm Okay, well, we really appreciate your sincerity. I understand. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Another dead body. No, I don't. You were sent don't. to war on false pretenses. The evidence is clear. We see the outlines of the bodies everywhere in the world. The crimes of this administration. What? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm getting out Another here. Another dead over body here. over here. How many of these bodies are dying today? 